welcome to this video. Hayden here from How to Amazon. So let's get involved. Let's do it. Let what are we doing today? What are we doing now today? We're going to go through um, just just quickly. We're going to go through how to add your listings to a repricer. And um, the repricer I'm using is PPP. Um, this is not an affiliate video. This is literally just how I add stuff to my repricer, just to make it easier. Um, just so that you understand how I do it. Now, obviously, there's loads of different ways that everyone likes to add stuff. Um, but when I'm adding items, um, let's say, for example, this is £8.66 and I've bought it for £3, hypothetically. Okay, um, As you can see, it's a four-pack, so that probably wouldn't make much uh, much sense if that was actually you know what I bought it for. But um, unfortunately, this is a bit of a dead item anyway. But anyway, for example, um, let's say it's free. We're selling it for 866. I just want to give you a quick example of how I would actually add that to um, the um, repricer. So on PPP, I've got my repricer down here. Um, say if it was 866 and we were all making good profit, etc. How I would personally do it is put in the buy price, obviously, into the uh, into your repricer, and then. I would go probably about 10, 15% below. So that's 866 we want to sell it for. I would probably put it in for £8.25. And then I would put the maximum for either 866 or 899. In this case, I'll probably do 899. I'm not going to go into details because once again, this isn't a sales video for PPP, but I do use super aggressive on PPP. And it won't just shoot the price straight down to 825. What it will do is um, hold the buy box if it can, um, try and restore the buy box. Um, and let's be honest, that's not going to shoot straight down in price anyway. Now, the reason I usually put something at a slightly less price in the buy box is not to try and undercut people because I don't want it to do that but it's to leave a little bit of leeway to make sure that I'm not sitting there if you price that at 866 I guarantee you by the time that's hit the fulfillment center I'm not going to guarantee you but 80% of stock will already have gone down in price somewhat since since then so I personally would always set your listings at, at least 10-15% below the actual buy box price because otherwise you're going to have to reprice everything as soon as it hits the fulfillment centers. It's best to do that rather than having to come back and go through hundreds of listings or even tens and tens of listings to then do it later on. So it just saves a job for later on. So that's what I do anyway when I'm adding stuff anyway. So anyway, see you in the next video. There's a lot of anyways there, wasn't there? Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'll see you in the next video.